evidentiary value of the evidence of the two accused incidentally rajendra kumar is not an accused yet but i think minakshi lekhi is, is uh, surrendering that he will be an accused sooner or later in which case singles evidence would be that of the court case well, there are um, there are two pieces of evidence as i not hear rajendra kumar yes yes yeah but somebody has to be a court case to somebody single can't be a court case to himself surely
for your uh, for your legal colleague uh, Mukul Sinha, but he said today that the that the agencies there was political pressure put so that uh, you know the political names were not named. I want to ask you, please solve this mystery for me. How does Mr. Modi or Rajnath Singh or Arun Jaitley or anyone in the BJP have control over the CBI? How how on earth? Can you conceive of a situation where the BJP puts political pressure so that politicians of the BJP, Amit Shah and Narendra Modi are not named? It doesn't add up, does it? Does it add up for you? It adds up because How? the investigation was sought to be... Yes, I'll explain it. There was another TV channel that very conveniently on 13th of June, one day prior to the Gujarat High Court hearing on 14th June, planted certain audio tapes which they claimed they had received from the IB. My client's name was not even mentioned in it. The anchor there concocted that her name finds reference. It's another matter we have uh, initiated legal proceedings against them. Mm -hmm. That Those tapes were then, CDs were conveniently brought by the additional advocate general of Gujarat to the high court, waved in front of the division bench. The division bench of course told them to junk it exactly where it should have gone long ago. The manner in which an investigation is... So where does the BJP come in? ...by what is happening. I, I will bring the... It's here. I have actually explained that it is more than the BJP, but the BJP stood to gain from planting those kind of stories, stands to gain by vitiating the atmosphere. All we are asking since 2004 is an investigation to the bottom of it. Ms. Grover. How the BJP operates... Who are people Ms. who owe them ideological Ms. opinion? Ms. Grover, Ms. Grover. Mr. Goswami, I think you are sharper than this. No, Ms. Grover. No, no, Ms. Grover, I'm not as sharp country. as you. Ms. Ms. Grover, the question is simply this. No, I, no, I, I, I just I want to know from you. On. I am aware. Do I, not try and simplify. Do not try am, and simplify am asking, what is actually a problem of the how does, situation. How does, how does the, you know, I don't know. I thought the BJP was complaining about the Congress the running the CBI. Raj, Rajendra Kumar needs to be arrested. P.P. Pandey, okay, I will explain to you. P.P. Pandey, additional director general of police of crime branch of Gujarat, claims to have gone on leave and then disappears. The Gujarat government doesn't know and ADG does not report to the Gujarat government. But there has to be a due process. Some says he's ill. Yeah, there is due process. Not that. Uh, he's been declared a pro-claim offender. His, his, interrogation, his interrogation is essential to get to the bottom of was there any IB input or not. I Has think the Gujarat government I'll, I'll tell you what. to find out where the hell is this okay. man hiding. Okay, okay. So Which here's... Where has he gone into that we can't look at? No, here's a question. Here's a question therefore. Please, Miss Lakey, once and for all, Please stop taking the excuse of the independence and the, and the brief of the Intelligence Bureau. You know, you've also been in power. You also control the Intelligence Bureau. And I can tell you there are a thousand untold stories of the pressure exercised on the Intelligence Bureau by the BJP when it was in power. So how many people are going to agree to you? I know you are trying to put it up as a Chinese wall saying, oh my God, you can't question Rajendra Kumar. You, you know, you can't bring IB officers. They have a different remit. You can't control them. But the fact of the matter is that's a fig leaf. Miss Meenakshi Lekhi, to the bigger argument. And the bigger argument tonight, and my last question to you, is that of consistency. Miss Meenakshi Lekhi, are you aware that in the case of the Manipur fake encounters case, where there were six cases of encounter killings probed by the Supreme Court appointed committee declaring to be fake encounters, the BJP, the BJP said the Home Minister of the State should be responsible. Right? The BJP said it's not just the Assam Rifles personnel or police commandos. They said the Home Minister of the State should be held responsible and given punishment. In other words, the BJP's line in Manipur was they hold the political executive guilty for the acts of omission or commission or whatever may have happened of police officials, commandos and paramilitary personnel. Paramilitary personnel, not even state police. How, Miss Lakey, we want to know, do you have one line of argument for Manipur? Right? I will. And one line of argument for Gujarat. And my answer will be, yes, yes, one line. One line for both of you. Uh, the, those, the human rights workers and the TV channels. There was an encounter, if nowhere else, Delhi, which is the uh, home uh, state for Ms. Grover and for me too. And that was found to be subsequently a fake encounter. And Delhi being a union territory, the responsibility of that fake encounter in uh, uh, Advanced uh, Yamuna lied with the Home Minister along with the Prime Minister and the Lieutenant Governor. Nobody remembers those cases.
cases, including all the news channels to get all the cases, and all all TV channels to get all TV channels to get that Uttar Pradesh had the maximum number of encounter killings, where even the chief minister went to answer my question on Manipur. Andhra Pradesh. My question is about your credibility. My question is about the credibility of media. Why do you raise 12 encounter cases in Gujarat repeatedly and forget can I, hundreds can I answer cases? Isn't that the last? Isn't that the last line of argument to shoot yes. try and shoot the message? Can you haven't answered answer, my question on, on Manipur. No, but, but in any case, but in any case, it's all right. Miss Lakey, Miss Lakey, Miss Lakey, Miss Lakey, Miss Lakey. I know whether it's Congress or BJP, which side. Eventually, go after the messenger. I I understand that, but but I don't think you've answered my question no, on Manipur. No, it's the messenger. My I'm question is the messenger. My question Why is does the messenger not reach where messenger should reach? The where mes hundreds of cases. The messenger and is asking you. The messenger eight, eight is asking hundred, you. Why eight, do you? Why do you? Why do you say? Why do you say in Manipur go no, after no, the home minister? The fact. The fact. I th and another another and argument. Line, another line of argument is in this case even today's CBI chart sheet. Says it was a joint uh, uh, operation between the state, I, uh, state uh, police and the IB. Now IB worked yes. under the UPA. You I didn't answer my question on Manipur. Time and state was under me. So I'm all the more reason. Well, you didn't answer my question on Manipur. I have nothing may to do I, with it. I just answer. Well, it's your party which has something how to do with it. State, how, how the state home minister is not controlling the IB. It is a it is a central home ministry He's controlling it. In this case, what about the Gujarat police personnel? Who are they answerable to? May I, may I just answer? May I just answer? Gujarat police personnel. Okay, one sec. Brinda Grover wants to respond. That's right. The PM and the home minister well, of India need to be questioned. Okay, one. And their call details should yes, also be investigated. Yes, okay. Yes. Now, now one second. One may two I minutes I on the debate. Brinda Grover's response. Please. Yes, yes. This is my last response. I need to leave. Just very clearly. In this country, what we need is that the law, and this has been perverted by the police and is now being used by political class across the board. Whenever an so-called encounter takes place, register an FIR, start an investigation. If it is found to be a genuine encounter, close it. This petition is today pending. This was the judgment of a five-judge bench uh, uh, of the Andhra Pradesh High Court, uh, a writ that was moved by human rights lawyers. That petition is today pending in uh, the Supreme Court of India. I wish the Supreme Court would hear it at the earliest. The menace of the police and the political class killing innocent people and framing it as, as innocent runs from Kashmir to Manipur to Gujarat to Delhi. I represented the witness of the Ansal Plaza case and the special cell has a hand to play in it. Right down to Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra. We are absolutely right. Wherever the investigation goes, let's take it. My only request is there are ordinary citizens in this country who are being killed. The Congress and BJP. BJP can play this game and capitalize over dead bodies. What is going to happen to our institutions and to people who need justice? That is what we need to take a call on. Okay. Okay. Capitalization happens by the human rights workers also. When so many bombs are going off in this country, when so many terror attacks and 26 11s are happening in this country. And even human rights activists need to be put to questioning. Well, I hope, I, hope the same, I hope the same line which you take, Brinda Grover, also applies to the Maoist terrorists. And to all other groups who are threatening the, who are, who are carrying out terror attacks. Of course it does. No 